all set? Stay where you are. Jim. Get from behind that desk. Yank, keep him covered while I frisk him. you prisoner. Could one of them have been Carter? Yes, it could have been Greg. He was in charge and gave all the orders. This is beginning to fit together. Carter murders Voorhees on Omoa. And you were nearly hanged for that. And he came here and tried to keep everyone away from Haunted Harbor. Why? Because he knew that the dolphin with the gold aboard her was scuttled in the harbor. And that's why he planted mines and mechanical sea monsters there. Skipper, the harbor's safe now. Let's get back to our diving operations and salvage that gold. Wait, let's check on this clue first. I took these off one of the men just before the fight started. They're addressed to Bert Mead and Kara Kane's mine. Well, the man must have worked there. The postmark is six months old. Yes, I see that. But it's still a definite clue. Yank, you take the schooner back to Pulamati. Patricia and I have a little checking up to do on this fellow Mead at Kane's mine. By this time, Mars knows all about Haunted Harbor and that the dolphin is sunk there. Where does that get him? He doesn't know that I'm Carter. He doesn't know that we've finished salvaging the rest of the gold off the dolphin. And he doesn't know that I'm using this mine as a cover-up for remelting the gold. Yeah, but Marsden's no fool. He'll begin to figure things out when he investigates the dolphin and finds the gold's missing. That'll take time. Meanwhile, we'll have the rest of the bullion remelted so it can't be identified. And that's your job. Now go ahead and rush things up. Hello, Greg. What's doing? Plenty. We gotta get the rest of this gold remounted today. Can't do it. Not unless you give me a lot of help. All right, I'll go to the bunkhouse and get you some of the men. Build up your fire. Jim, that's Greg now. You wait here.
around. Keep him covered while I tie him. If this man turns out to be Carter, our job is done. Get going. Get in there. What's going on here? Kane? You know this man? Of course, he's Greg, my foreman. He might go by the name of Greg, but I have reasons to believe his name is Carter. Carter? That's right. The one who's behind this haunted harbor hoax. The man who murdered Voorhees. And I think he knows why the dolphin disappeared. He's going to tell us. Well, this is unbelievable. I've trusted this man implicitly. He had full charge here, hired the men to work the mine. But then he used his position to hire killers for his own purposes. These are serious charges, Captain Marsden. I'm prepared to back them up. Do you know anything about Bert Mead? Mead? I think he worked here. If I remember right, we hired a beachcomber by that name, but he was fired for being drunk. Perhaps the men in the bunkhouse could tell you more about him. Maybe we'd better get down to the bunkhouse and check up on that. All right. Will you keep your eye on my prisoner? Certainly. Quit stalling and untie me. I had to wait until they were out of sight. Marsden won't learn anything from the men. He knows too much already, especially about you. But the goal's safe and you're in the clear. I intend to stay that way. You have no more use here, Greg. I know that. I'll clear off the island. We'll join up later. But I'll need some cash. You've overlooked one important fact. Marsden thinks you're Carter. He'll only call the whole case closed when Carter is dead. You can't do that, Kane. I'm your partner. I've risked my neck for you. You're risking mine just by being alive. That was a shot. Yes, it came from the mine office. What happened? He slipped his hands loose and came at me with a chair. I had to shoot in self-defense. That's too bad. Carter's confession would have cleared me of Voorhees' murder. I'll be glad to substantiate all the facts for you, Captain. Thanks. Right now, we've got to get a full report to Galbraith so he can lay the matter before the authorities on Amoa. Can I use your car? Help yourself. It's outside. Thanks. the wheel, Patricia. When we get around the next bend, I'm going to jump out. Why? What for? There's something wrong somewhere. The way I tied Greg, he couldn't possibly have gotten loose. This calls for a little checking up on Mr. Kane. got to speed up here and clear out. Marsden captured Greg. He did? Is he wise to our setup here? No, Greg is dead and Marsden thinks he was Carter. Then you've nothing to worry about. I know, but I'll only feel 100% safe when the rest of this stuff is remelted so it can't be identified as a dolphin gold. Hold it. Marsden. Mr. Carter.
Gentlemen, I have been authorized to announce that the entire gold cargo on the sunken schooner Dolphin has been recovered. And every debt of Captain James Marsden has been paid off in full, and he's once again master of the schooner Wahari. I knew you'd do it, Jim. Thank you, Captain. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Right over here, Pat. Nice going, son. How did it go, Jim? Well, the case is closed. The authorities tell me they have the rest of Carter's men behind bars. Well, it was tough sailing, but you cleared your name and restored your fortune. And I couldn't have done it without your help, Mr. Goldraith. Oh, none, sir. Or without Yanks. Ah. That goes double for Patricia. I'm just so happy for your sake, Jim. Skipper, I thought we ought to celebrate. So I ordered a special dinner. It's ready to be served in the booth. That's good for me. Let's go. Jim don't need any help now. <laughs> <laughs>